Thank you for being with us today, Dr. Scholes. Good to be here. So as usual, we are going to be asking common questions that we see come up either on Google searches or that we have asked by our patient audience. And one of the big questions that I see Googled quite often is actually quite a scary question, but I feel like there is a soothing answer to a lot of prostate cancer patients out there. And that is, is prostate cancer fatal? That's a good question because people are always confused by the uh, fact that some people definitely die of prostate cancer, but uh, are also told that it's a harmless condition. So what's going on with that? The, uh, I think the confusing thing is that there are different types of prostate cancer. In the uh, skin cancer world, we use different names for the bad ones. We call them melanomas, and the less malignant ones, we call them squamous cells or basal cells. And uh, if someone tells you they have skin cancer, you generally assume it's one of the low malignant types, and uh, no one makes a big deal out of it. They assume you'll just have it frozen or it's not going to hurt you. And uh, there are types of prostate cancer like that that don't hurt you, and we can identify them, uh, particularly the grade Gleason 6 or the Epstein grade 1 cancers uh, have been uh, shown that they don't spread. And if cancer doesn't spread, it definitely doesn't lead to any fatal problems. But there are other types of cancer, and I think another confusing thing is that even though prostate cancer in the higher grades can spread, and certainly it can kill people, the process of the disease unfolds over 10 to 20 years, where with many other serious cancers, like pancreas cancer, lung cancer, we're looking at a three to six to nine month time period for someone to die. And so people get confused by that as well, even though they, the higher grade prostate cancers are potentially fatal in a minority of cases. Most these days are cured, uh, and if they aren't cured, most are controlled. But there are a few people that are still dying of prostate cancer. And, uh, but it's oftentimes 10, 15, 20 years later from the time they were diagnosed. So all those things, as you point out, I think are generally good news for people with prostate cancer. Uh, there's still a subgroup of people that are getting into trouble. And, uh, and have life-threatening disease. Yeah, I find the word cancer itself is often that trigger point where that brings immense fear and a lot of issues, but I don't think that people realize that there are so many different types, especially in prostate cancer, mm -hmm. and that it does need to be treated as an individual yeah. type. There are other relatively less dangerous cancers, one uh, we call chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Uh, leukemia sounds horrific, and there are some very deadly variants of leukemia. But as people get older, a lot of people develop a rising white count, and they call it chronic lymph lymphocytic leukemia, and it can be dangerous after many years in some people. Uh, but the word cancer is a dreadful word, and for most people it means imminent death. And for the prostate cancer world, that often is not a very accurate representation of what's going on. My old partner, uh, uh, Ralph Blum, thought after living with this for many years, uh, my co-author in the book Invasion of the Prostate Snatchers, he said that the, uh, uh, he thought of it more like a chronic condition than as a cancer. Yeah, I find patients who know their Gleason score and their, their type of prostate cancer and have researched their treatments and talked to their doctor after they've gotten over that initial fear and they know the situation, they too look at it very often like a chronic situation. Mm -hmm. If you would like to know what type of prostate cancer you have, we do have some great resources on our website. You can answer a six question quiz and that'll lead you to a staging guide for your particular type of prostate cancer based off of your medical records. You can go to pcri.org and our website will direct you to it right away. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you have further questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And for more information, visit our website, pcri.org.